Stasis theory is a rhetorical model that can help people figure out the best way to tackle an issue, to make an argument uh, about where they stand on an issue. The key for stasis theory is that you have to understand this word stasis. Stasis means at rest or stopped. Stasis theory deals with examining a situation and discovering and identifying where agreement stops. So it's, it's kind of a, uh, it's almost like a, a meat grinder or a funnel and you dump your issue into it and it takes us through the stages and there are four stages, it takes us through these four stages and once we've dumped our issue through this uh, theory, this model, we find out where agreement stops. And at that point, where agreement stops is the point where then we can legitimately tackle the issue. Let's say that your child has come home from school and is telling you about what happened on the playground. And what happened on the playground today is that a boy kissed a girl. Yeah, I know, boy, boy kissed a girl. But maybe this is concerning to you. And uh, for whatever reason, you feel like something ought to be done about this. There's a policy that needs to be changed at the school. The school needs to handle this in a different way than they're handling it. And so you want to go to the school and you want to make an argument to them about what should be done. But before you go to the school and have the confidence that you can successfully be persuasive. It's useful to use a stasis theory to take your idea and, and run it through stasis theory. It's kind of the, the first stage of the stasis theory is facts. We have to first come to an agreement about what the facts of the situation are, what actually happened. So we're going to establish this via eyewitness accounts. Perhaps uh, we have security cameras on the building that caught the incident. Uh, but we bring all these sources together and we find out are we in agreement about what actually happened? If we're not in agreement, then we can't take this argument any further. We can't argue for change if we don't actually know what has happened yet. If everyone is agreement on the facts, then we can move on to the next stage. The next stage is definition. And so we look at key elements of the situation and examine the definition. So one key element here would be sexual harassment. Is what happened at the school, this boy kissing this girl, is this rise to the definition of sexual harassment. And there's a legal definition of sexual harassment, and part of that is going to involve what the girl's response was. Part of it's going to involve, was this a repeated occurrence? Uh, you know, what's the history here? So that's partly what's going to have to be established. But if agreement stops here, and we disagree about whether or not this situation is sexual harassment, then this is the level at which we argue. We can't, again, argue for change in the school if we don't agree whether or not this is sexual harassment. You can see how that would be a different argument depending on whether it was or it wasn't. If we are in agreement on the definition and that this instance was not sexual harassment, the next level that we move on to in the stasis theory is value. How good or how bad is a thing? So then we ask ourselves how good or bad it was this instant of this boy kissing this girl. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Some people might argue and say this is a bad thing. We should not be condoning and encouraging our children, even in elementary school, to go around kissing random people. Other people might say, well, it's not really a bad thing. Uh, these are just young children. There's no malicious intent. They're just kind of figuring out who they are. There's no harm done. Not really a bad thing. But you can see how that argument can be made one way or the other. So if agreement stops here and there's not agreement on whether this is a good or bad thing, you can't move on to the next level and propose changes to the school uh, policy because we're not even in agreement on whether this is a good or a bad thing. If, however, there is agreement here, then we can move on. And the final stage is proposal. And this is the stage where now we can say everyone agrees on the facts and what happened. Everyone agrees on the definition. Everyone agrees on the value. Now we can look at the proposal and what are the options of what is to be done. So that's stasis theory. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Give it a try. Take your issue that you're kind of uh, wrestling with for this course. Uh, see what you can come up with in terms of where in the process does agreement stop between you and your audience. And at that level, that's where you engage your audience and you can now tackle this issue.